The placenta is a really cool organ that grows early on in pregnancy and its main job in life is to support your baby and to feed your baby. So the placenta is attached to the uterine wall and then your body has vessels that proliferate and get really big. They're like superhuman so that every time your heart beats, a large percentage of your blood volume is going to your uterus, which is going to the placenta. And then from the placenta, it goes through the umbilical cord to your baby. So your baby gets blood, oxygen, and nutrients from you ultimately through the placenta and the umbilical cord. So both of these things are your baby's lifelines. As I mentioned, the placenta has a lot of blood going through it, so it's highly, highly vascular. And it can attach itself anywhere on the uterine wall, including over the cervix. And if this happens, this is called a placenta previa. And 80% of women who have a placenta previa end up inpatient in the hospital before they have their baby because of bleeding episodes. And you have to have a C-section if this is the case because for one, you can't deliver your baby's lifeline first. It's kind of plugging up the exit. And if you um, start to contract or dilate at all, then you'll usually bleed a lot and we don't want that to happen. So your doctor would talk to you about doing a C-section if you did have a placenta previa. Now, you mentioned that yours was low lying, and that means that earlier on in pregnancy, everything's kind of appearing to be near the cervix because the uterus isn't very big yet. So they'll likely do a repeat ultrasound sometime around 28 weeks to see if the placenta has kind of moved away from the cervical opening. This doesn't mean that the placenta grows legs and walks up the side of the uterine wall, but it's similar to a balloon with words on it. If you imagine a balloon that has writing on it before you blow it up, the, the words appear closer to the base of the balloon. But then as you blow the balloon up, then the words are pulled up as the balloon expands. And that's exactly what happens with the placenta. It's, it can be pulled up as the uterus grows. So they recheck you later to see where the placental location is later in the pregnancy and determine if you need to take extra precautions or have a C-section or those sorts of things that I talked about before. So again, talk with your doctor about your results and they'll tell you if you need to take special precautions between now and your next ultrasound. If you have any other questions for me in the future, please feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash intermountain moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.